The 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 cast members have had a dramatic week with lots of shocking news and gossip that found its way to the internet. To recap what's been happening so far, Episode 9, which aired on Sunday night, brought about quite a few developments in the couple's storylines. A surprising new clue about Eve Arlano and Mohammed Abdelhamid was posted on Reddit by a TLC viewer. Meanwhile, in the show, Egyptian man Mohammed keeps wanting Eve to change for him, which suggests their relationship might not last very long. Kobe Blaze is failing to win the trust of Emily by Eberly's parents. While Kobe wants to work with David by Eberly at his architecture company, Emily's dad is skeptical of his future son-in-law, owing to Kobe's lack of schooling and work experience. 90 Day Fiancé fans witnessed a new Bilal Hazis and Shayada Sween scene, where they argued. Shayada, spoilers suggest that she is still together with Bilal is tired of him lecturing her. However, she's clearly okay with getting married to him. As they wed in December 2021, Ty's Ramon brought up Patrick Mendes' past cheating on 90 Day Fiancé Episode 9, but soon decided that they were over it. After they made fans uncomfortable with their makeout session, Cara Bass and Guillermo Royer were busy touring wedding venues, only to find out how expensive booking one of them would be. Fans are bashing Cara for showing Guillermo a venue just to belittle him and prove her point. Meanwhile, after her embarrassing altercation with Bainiyam Shebra's MMA partner last week. Ariella Weinberg wasn't featured on this episode. After watching Mohammed chastising Eve for anything and everything on 90 Day Fiancé Season 9, and hoping she'd change her religion for him, fans prayed for the couple to break up before the finale. However, much like all the other pairs on this season, it looks like Eve and Mohammed are already married. Reddit user Princess Arinface found Eve and Mohammed seated right in front of them at the Dallas airport. Clearly, those commenting on the post were shocked to discover that even Mohammed are still together. However, the op revealed that Mohammed speaks in the same soft, yet condescending way that he does on TV. The op also confirmed that Eve seems super over him. If there's one couple that's been accused of being cloud chasers ever since their 90 Day Fiancé season 9 debut, it's Jibri and Miona. Six months after proposing to Miona in December 2019, Jibri had referred to her as his wife in a Serbian news publication. The couple already has the same last name on Instagram. There are also some fans who think Miona is blackfishing due to her tan, and the way that she styles her hair and outfits. Jibri trying to promote his band, and selling his torn pants online. And Miona starting her makeup brand. Doesn't sit well with fans who think they are doing the show for fame. This is so fake. Who y'all trying to be now some kinda influencers slash comedians? It's cringe as fk lol. A critic wrote on Miona's latest Instagram post with Jibri. However, Miona decided to clap back at them by writing, Girl, you are a fan. You watch me every Sunday. Follow everything I'm doing. Comment on my posts and the most important you making me money. Emily's father David by Eberly has some serious concerns about Kobe and finds the couple's heated arguments disturbing. David isn't keen on supporting the pair forever and wants to know how Kobe plans on making money. Moreover, Emily wants her parents to pay for the wedding, but they aren't keen on doing so because they are unsure of Kobe. However, fans think that David and Lisa by Eberly should also ask Emily why she has never tried to pay her own bills. 90 Day Fiancé fans think the parents are at fault for allowing Emily to behave like a spoiled brat with no real-world experience, even when she's 29 years of age. Sources, you slash princess or in face slash reddit, Miona Bell slash Instagram.